Hey, what's up? It's Mike here, and I wanted to make this quick video right here. So, right behind me is a mobile home. It's a two-bedroom, one-bath. Not a big mobile home, but cool thing about it was I'm sitting there last night, minding my own business. Somebody hits me up with a tip. Guy wants to go on ahead and get rid of it for free, so he went on ahead and put me on because people know in my area that I buy and sell mobile homes. So, you know, people like to be friendly and they'll help out. And the same thing will happen to you. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to walk around. We're going to take a look at the place real quick because there's some profit to be made here off of something that somebody's giving away for free. So I'm going to walk around, take a look at the place. And so you can see this thing from a few angles. Thankfully, it's kind of chilly today because, you know, otherwise, like the grass and stuff around here is kind of tall. And I wouldn't want any snakes or something like that to you know, just pop on up. So we got... You know back here i mean the outside looks pretty decent so far okay there's a little porch right there on the uh front side of it and there's also another porch right here on this side of it i don't want to go up that way because i did see some wasps up under that uh entrance so we're going to take a look inside at what the rest of this bad boy looks like all right so here so we're gonna take a look inside of this mobile home. And here's the kitchen area right here. Um, good solid countertops right here, I like that. Um, cabinet doors are a little bit swollen and stuff from water damage or just humidity over the years. It's an easy replacement because they're just you know cheap, you know, particle board cabinets or whatnot, but that's okay. I can see somebody tried to do like a little, whatever you call this over the stove. So, looks like you've got a couple of appliances in here. Not all the cabinets are bad. A little bit of cosmetic work. Let's take a look around the rest of this place. Like I said, it's a two bedroom, one bath place. We got a little bit of water damage up here on the ceiling. That's an easy fix. Um, clean up that, that mold and mildew right there and go up top and then repair whatever's up there and then also use some kills on this right here to um to kill you know whatever that problem is kind of dry everything on out and uh fix that this will have to be replaced it's a small little replacement right here it's not going to be a whole lot of money we're talking about you know less than a 20 30 dollar fix easy uh there's the smaller bedroom right there let's see if i can cut my light on I go up in here not a big bedroom at all, but like this is a smaller mobile home right here. Cool. So it's workable. And the cool thing about this place is too, the floors are solid. Like when you walk into a mobile home or something like that, I like to stomp around by the windows and the doors and by the toilets and the tubs because that's normally where your soft spots are going to be at. Let's just kind of walk around back here. Here's the bathroom I was talking about. Obviously, somebody tried to do some kind of a repair right here by the toilet because um, I'm assuming there's probably some water damage right there from a leaky toilet. But um, get yourself a little bit of plywood, pull that toilet on up, replace the wax ring, set her on back down. Then come around it with some waterproof caulk or some silicone uh, after you've repaired your floor and then just put everything back to what it needs to be at. Easy. $20 fix. This is going to have to be cleaned out. I mean, there's bugs and stuff right here in the tub because nobody's lived in here in a minute. I don't know the year model of this place, but I can find that out. Another little small repair right here in the corner. I mean, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I could even throw a little bit of paint right in here and make it look doable. And there's a way that I like to repair my walls. I just like to go and buy like some cheap uh, paneling and everything. And like kind of put over the walls instead of just like replacing it with sheetrock or something, which can be expensive and a little bit more difficult to manage. I think I have a video on that uh, in my course where I show you how to repair walls inexpensively. All right, so let me cut my light back on and continue with this little. So, a little bit of damage right there. That's nothing hard to fix at all. Like I said, it's easy to repair walls. Looking at about maybe 30 bucks to repair those. Um, got a little bit of work right here. You can easily put some paneling back over that. It's easy to do. Um, still a solid plywood floor right here, so I wouldn't even worry about that. It's great. 
Oh, we got the other room back here. We got the, I guess this will be the master bedroom. And uh, yeah, man. I mean, look at this. I could easily get in my area around about nine or 10 grand for this place. Real easy. And because it's a free mobile home, it's almost all profits. I think the guy just wants uh, somebody to move this place away. A little bit of a soft spot right here on the floor. Nothing major. I don't think that's some moisture. I think it's just like years of wear and tear. But like I said, small fix. So, definitely doing this video right here to encourage everybody that you can take some trash, right, and turn it into treasure. Somebody just wants this place gone. The land is probably way more valuable to him than the mobile home is, which, of course, I would look at it the same way. But, yeah. A few little uh, fixer uppers and stuff in his in his house. Shit, you got yourself a profit, homeboy. You know, one of the cool parts about this is that every single day, people pass by these mobile homes and all they see is trash. Uh, but yeah, you don't have to be like that. You can see some profit. You can make yourself some money. No competition. I mean, it's out here. People do not have an excuse to be doing bad in life. When there are so many opportunities out there, you're talking about maybe a day or two of work in this place to make 10 grand. That's wonderful. That is amazing. And yeah, I think you should be doing this. I mean, it's flipping mobile homes, man. That's what it's about.